if you want to put it in modal terms, the difference between necessity and impossibility is that necessity is that if something is taken out of existence, that existence wouldn't exist. It would lead to absurdity. Whereas with impossibility, it's the exact opposite. So in other words, this thing cannot be in, 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 any, in any world, possible world, it cannot be in reality. Like a squared circle, for example. The point is, when you take something out of reality, which is a possible existence or a contingent existence, like the pieces of the universe, for example, me or you, we, we didn't exist at one point, maybe yourself like 25 years ago, I don't know when, how old are you? 20, my, it's my birthday today, actually. Yes. Whenever, you know, you're yeah. a young man. Strapping young man, nice, uh, nice suit yourself as well. Very I like good. these badges. You yeah. look like some great military to taste so with oh, medals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People want to hear you. No doubt about it. No, 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 no. We got a big one for you. No, no. no let's, let's take with the other. So the point, the, the point I'm making to you is the point I'm making is that if so, contingent existence. If it's not in existence, it doesn't lead to any absurdity. Because 20 years, 25 years ago, you weren't in existence. Meaning that that didn't lead to absurdity or it didn't lead to any that the entire existence would not be in existence yeah, because I'm not, I'm not necessary exactly but you need to find a necessary being as something that doesn't depend on anything else but I don't I still don't see how um, you can define God in those terms if you include the wide attributes that are associated with him because he is a composition of an all-powerful deity, um, a, a, an all-knowing deity. Yeah. The list goes on and no, on, but, but, and he's a constituent of all these different attributes. All right, so what I've said before, when I when I differentiated to you between a part and an attribute, was that intelligible to you? It was, but I feel like you were, you're this retreating into a linguistic realm. No, okay. I, mean, I could replace... So even, even if we give you that, right. so, so there is a necessary being that okay. started the universe. Pardon? There is a necessary being that started the universe. Yeah. Why does not, that not necessary necessary, being? By the way, sorry. It doesn't have to be that he started the universe, by the way. But fine. Could, okay, so so that the there, universe depends there, there upon. Is, there is a necessary being which all contingent things depend upon yeah. for their existence. Yeah. Yes. Why what what qualities can we attribute to that other than that is necessary? Right, so let, let, him, let him do it. I, you've done right, you've, so other other than it's necessary, what can we possibly no, but the, know? The about thing, thing? Right, right, no, you've 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 already answered part of your own question. Well, why? Because Necessity implies eternality. For example, in the in the field of mathematics, two plus two equals four is a necessary fact, such that you cannot okay, readjust. So it exists forever. Yeah. So there you have it. So, but there you have two attributes. In fact, you have pre-eternality and post-eternality. Right? You can subdivide that into two different categories. And obviously, what we're saying, we're speaking in negative terms. So it's something which hasn't got a beginning or an end is pre-eternal or post-eternal. So we've already got two here. Necessity indicates that so it doesn't need anything else, which in the Islamic parlance is referred to as a samadiyya, which is that everything depends upon it and it depends upon nothing else. But then if we go into that direction, then a lot of other attributes start to, to be clear. So for example, the fact that God is the maintainer of the universe or that, that this necessary being is the maintainer of all that exists. It maintains it because without its existence, the universe would not exist. Therefore, Do you it's... Get morality at any point? Well, no, hang no, no, on, no. hang on. The, the great advantage that we have is we're merely arguing in terms of probability, and it seems like you're arguing it in the realms of certainty. I haven't heard any argument you've made. Well, I, all I'm saying is that there is a universe, and I don't claim to know how it was brought about. Uh, we can only uh, know, we can only see the laws of the universe. We can only see how we interact with those laws. And I think if we use Occam's razor, don't multiply entities beyond necessity. Don't say, you know, there's, there's a world and at the center of that world, well, well, let, let, well let me just finish. And, and let, let's say, let's take gravity, for example, okay? There's obviously gravity and we can explain that mathematically. Um, but then you add some additional beast existing at the center of the unit, uh, at the center of the earth that draws things into it, as well as gravity. There's no need for that beast. There's no need for it. So why include it in a, a theory that encapsulates and describes 
gravity perfectly. So that's what I'm saying about the universe. We've seen the universe. We've, yeah, so what you're we've saying, seen the universe. We know its laws. We can understand them, describe them. We don't need to refer so to any additional no, 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 no. What you've got to do, which you haven't done, explain to us how this universe came into existence. Well, I mean, I'm sick. I don't no, 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 I can. No, 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 you can. No, 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 that's the key. That's that's where it comes down to. And yeah, okay. I don't know. Okay. But okay. I and I'm Which trying to fair. understand why you're claiming you do. No, 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 no. It didn't okay. start that way, did it? Okay. No, okay. you're saying there was a net. No, 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 no. What you said. You're no. saying that the, the existence of the ne necessitates a necessary being. But the, the that's very, not what you said. But the very idea let's that the universe began. No, let's do what you said. Don't change the world. Don't hang on, hang on. Let me just. The universe is space and time. And and you need um, you don't need objects goalposts. in space, it's and you need man. cause and effects within Let's time. Let's start the conversation and as it was. What was the name again? Yeah. Okay. okay. Just listen. Listen. Right. listen. You said you start it's trouble. more probable trouble. there isn't a god. I'm Felix. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. So your probability, your mathematics, whatever you've done, whatever you've reasoned. Okay. Yeah. You've come to a probable idea, it's more probable that this universe, as I've always existed, brought itself into existence, finely tuned itself, created carbon in stars by itself. No, 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 listen. I am. No, 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 no. I am. No, no, no. I am. Yeah, yeah, carry on, like, carry gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, on. I'm, I'm not saying anything. And then, and then you believe that this, this carbon sometimes created this kind of magic custard, and then this magic custard became the, <laughs> the first living cell on Earth, and then this first living cell kind of created information from nowhere and created new proteins and became new organisms and evolved into fish and this fish became man and then this man is what we are today right that's your claim so i want to know why you believe that okay uh, all i'm the only claim i'm making is that i don't i don't that is your claim. No, i know i'm saying i don't know no, you say it's more probable i'm saying it's more probable yeah, that's right. because we only have the limit we we can only why base is that i can only base this argument on what i can directly see i can see the laws of the universe i can see how we interact with how, that how universe. can you see that sorry uh, sorry yeah. to cut in you say you can see the laws of the new universe. Well, well no, we're, we're not, I mean, no, but we're not floating off into the atmosphere, <laughs> are we? I'm not seeing you floating off into the stratosphere. What's his name again? Strabo. Strabo. And you're... Uh, Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah, Strabo, listen. Strabo. Uh, the laws of the universe are not actually something you can detect. Well, of course, I, I can feel them. Yeah, yeah. That's nice and appalling. Now, let's, let's get some basics right on this matter, right? The laws of the universe are just an expression of some patterns that physicists or other people... Yeah. Now, it depends on what uh, epistemology one takes. Because if someone says, well, if a nominalist argues the universals don't exist in the real world, then by extension, Laws of the universe don't exist. For example, if you said I see the laws of the universe, can you prove that laws of the universe exist? Not, not universally, but I can prove they exist now. I mean, we're not floating. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. But, but, yeah, I can't I, prove I, they exist everywhere. But. No, 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 but, 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 no, no. But laws, laws, by definition, are an expression of more than one instantiation of a particular. You can't have a law with just one particular. You need to have more than one instantiation of a particular. Therefore, my question to you is. You just said that you, you're pretty convinced of the fact that there's laws of the universe. Uh, can you prove those laws and show me how they exist under a microscope or through the empirical method, how we can come to the conclusion? I can't. No. Okay, good. So the, the, you seem, okay, the, there's issues here. You're, you, you're, you're certain at one point that there was laws and then when you described what the laws are, you now realize that you've taken an agnostic position or in fact a skeptical one. Uh, you say you're making no claims, but then you, you say that it's more probable that the universe basically it exists without an explanation. These are all jumbled uh, kind of uh, points you're making. Well, can I just say that you, you mentioned epistemology and epistemology is grounded in language and the laws of the universe is purely a language to describe natural phenomena. Okay. The way we're conversing now is a language and we, we have one central concept between us we're chipping away at it using language and the the main difference between us is that i don't see how a necessary being of uh, the universe is necessi uh, necessitated by a being by an entity okay no but, yeah. but you're saying so okay my question is do you believe that you exist 
Well, I, I, I hope so. Yeah. Right, right, okay. It, it does you, has he conceded? Yeah, I'm, it, I'm, it, I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Has, has, he, has he conceded the necessary being point? Yeah, he, he I, moved on to attributes of let the me necessary ask being. Yeah, let me, so but at this point, let me ask you the question. Does the universe exist? Well, I hope so. Yeah. Ha, okay. Is that yes or no? Well, I can't sorry, be too. sure, but yeah, I'm pretty okay, certain. So, so the universe is an expression of what? An expression of stardust, random. Well, what do you believe? No, I'm not asking what you believe. What, what is what, the universe? What's, I don't understand the question. What is the universe? Charlie. What is it? Yes. Well, it's an aggregation of stardust, us, okay, great. trees. Okay, no okay good. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good universe. No, no problem. And, and that, energy. And Especially that, with this. Okay, yeah, no yeah. problem. Well, that universe exists. Uh -huh. Yeah, exists. All right. Does it exist? Necessarily, or does it exist contingently? Is the universe dependent or independent? It's well, Felix. What do you think? I think it's. I think it's. I think it's Felix knows the answer. Well, he's he's actually. Felix the knows where size is. I I think I think I don't know. I I really don't know. But that's it, it where might, my, that's it why it's necessary that something exists. No, no, you can see the necessary. No, but no, no, but no, 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 I have, I have one question. Right now, I'm, I'm just asking. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. See, see no, no, I, I used to think like okay. you guys. Okay, okay. Can I say something? Yeah, yeah course, it's, it's very late, course, so course. you can go to the academia in a minute, right? Yeah, of course. So, I used to, I won't be as, I would say I was like you guys, because you guys seem very, very intelligent, right? But the point being made is I never believed in a creator. I never believed in God, never believed in religion. All right? This was now over 20 years ago. Then I come to the and then I had conversations like this, and I said, you know what? Why would why should I believe this universe caused itself, created itself, finally tuned itself, and you know the magic custard and, and the, and the uh, origin and the fish and all that business? I couldn't buy into this. The idea this is all random. So I came to the conclusion there must be something that caused this. But I'm not going to say it's God. I'm not going to go into religion or anything like this. But I looked at the Creator, and because you asked a very good question, what was it you asked a question? You asked a question about what what attributes can we uh, infer from this? What what necessary attributes must this creator have? Well, we obviously said it's got to be, have the, the, the ability to create, it's got to be powerful, as I was saying to my mate Yal here, that there's nothing we know of that is powerful enough to create a universe. So whatever the cause of the universe is, must be more powerful than anything we know. Yeah? Would you agree? Yeah, yeah or it is, so like you say ability to create, or, or it is necessarily the creator, so it cannot do any other than but if that, No, no, but the point is this, are you saying that the, the effects of the cause is... is, is no, he, he, I, 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 he's making he, he's made, so, 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 let's, 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 let's un respond to that, yeah. Oh, on. I want to disentangle a few things. Yeah, please, right, please. but then I need to say something well, about Well, you're going to bash me? No, 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 no. I need to... He's, he, he makes a point, which is that, you know, uh, how do we now establish the difference between that God is uh, determined to create or is emanating whatever it is that he's got, or this necessary existence is emanating whatever it is he's got, which means that there's no other choice but to create, <laughs> or that he's cho choosing to create. Yes, so the will. will. So with that, I just wanted to put in there that there is a separate argument for that, which we can articulate in a, in a, in a moment. Which is where we got to with Yao. But that, that, there is a separate argument for that. It's, it's called the argument of particularization. So we'll come to that in a second. But yeah, go ahead. So going back to that, the idea that the universe caused itself or causation, I think we, all our concepts uh, come, come to us through experience. If we were locked into a, in, in a dark room for our entire lives, we wouldn't know anything. Our minds would be totally blank canvases. If we, that's, that's if we were deprived, well, if we were deprived of all experience, so what point did I make? Well, the point, my, the point I'm making is that we live in a world where there's time. I, it, it, it takes me time to move, move like that, and it's also causation. I move from one state to another. Now, th this all occurs within space and time. I need space to move, and I need time to move within. But, and that is essentially the universe. When you step outside the universe, that those con these concepts break down. No, and but experience, and all our concepts that derive from these experiences within the universe break down. So it's actually uh, okay. a, anachronistic okay. no, no, to talk about just, the universe causing yeah, itself yeah. or starting so, so, so itself. Because so, 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 there was no uh, time, uh, no uh, space. Uh, okay, so okay. There, you can't even imagine how, what uh, started uh, 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 there. Uh, uh, okay, it's so I, are you now saying the universe is eternal? I, I, I do, I, I'm saying I don't know, but I'm saying it's right, an well, anachronistic if it's question. Not, if it's, okay, so, so if it's not eternal, the universe caused itself. If it's not eternal, if it's not eternal, I mean it had a beginning, isn't it? 
eternal. Well, that, that, I'm saying that no, question is, is no, if fundamentally if flawed eternal. to begin with. But no problem. Look, here's what, here's what I will say to you. Look, you've just said a few things about causation, all right? My understanding of what you've just said, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is that you basically, you're, 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 you're citing the fact that time is distance over speed. Okay, very simple. Movement is therefore correlated with time. Movement is time. Time is not as unintelligible without movement. You can say this, right? You agree with me, correct? You're a physicist. So, movement and time in this universe, especially considering like, you know, the Einsteinian... Yeah. No, philosopher. Okay, no problem. So, the, no issues. Here's what I'm saying to you. Here's my response to you. My response to you... current conversation, though. My response to you is, the argument from contingency does not require ca causation. Causation, vernacular... Yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. It's true, yeah. Let me just... True, okay, yeah. number one. Causation, vernacular. Let me, I was let, let responding me to his no, no, point. Let, well, let me just let me just let me finish. Are you let me saying finish. there was a beginning. Okay, you're, 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 you're kind of interrupting me right now. Let me just finish because I did let you speak. Yeah. What I'm saying is, causation vernacularly is defined as something which brings rise to phenomena. Most people who define it terminologically through the philosophical literature, they define they can define it in more than one term. Like it can be that a. This, so there's sufficient causation, there's necessary causation, there's different types of causation, there's even retro causality, now that people are talking about causation happening backward, basically, right? And then you have the grandfather paradox. All of that is irrelevant to this discourse. Because what, when we talk about dependency and contingency, dependency and contingency is irrelevant of causation. You can have, it's intelligible to have contingency without causation. So right now the word causation is not really relevant to this discussion because what we talked about is contingency and dependence. Dependency or dependence is vernacularly defined is that something relies on something else for its existence. Now you can cause something into existence but it doesn't depend upon it. Let me give an example. I can cause my children, I've got three children, I've caused them in a sense. You know, I'm not going to go into the details of how that, ha that happens. Don't worry, you don't have to. I don't yeah. really or, want you. Or I can, I can build something. I can build a house. You see, um. you can build a house. Maybe you, me and you can build a house together, no problem. But when we both die, the house will continue existing. But the, the house will continue existing, but, that, but we will be dead. So in other words, the house does not require me in order for there to be continued existence. Therefore, causality and dependence are not the same thing. Dependence is an inextricable relationship between two entities whereby B is in constant and perpetual, you know, uh, requirement or, the, uh, or reliance on A. Do you understand what I'm saying? But I'm saying, can't the universe be like the so, house we built? No, no, but so, 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 what I'm saying is, so, so, just to cut you off, what I'm saying is, the question of self-generation is, if, if you say, well, the universe can create itself, so it can be there and not be there at the same time, you can say that maybe there's retro causality. I say, the issue is not even in this. The issue is that if you say that the universe depends upon itself, you're effectively saying the universe is independent. In which case you're saying the universe is, you're, you're, you're effectively accepting the, 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 the first premise. What I ask is, is the universe dependent or independent? If you're saying that, well, the, the, the universe doesn't depend upon anything, then this means that the universe depends upon itself. What I'm saying though, however, the problem is, the universe cannot be independent because the universe has constituent pieces, parts which, which make it. Things which can be taken out of it or put into it, some things which, if didn't exist within the universe, no absurdity would occur. So what I'm saying therefore is that on those grounds, Anything that is made out of pieces, it's like this, this bottle, all right? It's made out of pieces, can you see? It's got a bottle lid, I can take it off, you see? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I can do it. Introduce a new really I can, I can, I can do it. I can, so anything that is made out of pieces is not, is contingent. The universe, so what I'm why saying, can't the universe be contingent? Okay, great, good, good, good. Why now, now we're there. So if the universe is contingent, then my, my point is this. There cannot be a world with only contingent things. There has to be a necessary thing. Because if there was a if there's a world with only contingent things. It goes back and back. No, I'm not it's, even making it's dependence on it. I'm, on I'm, something not, else. I'm not even making a point, I'm not even mentioning infinite regress here. Yeah. I'm saying there cannot be a world with only dependent things. That's my claim. My claim is you cannot have a world with only dependent things. Because of the infinite regress. Yeah, well, here's the reason why. You've got three ways this can happen. 
you've got one way where it can be there's let's say let's br bring it back in mathematical set terms yeah you can you can have dependent things which are finite and the finite things they're subcompartmentalized into two different categories either they're finite and linear or finite and circular if they're finite and linear then a cause b and b cause c which means a cause c and if a cause b and b cause c and therefore a cause c that means a is the is the cause of everything or a you know a is everything depends upon a if it's circular that means a cause b and b cause c and a therefore is the cause of its own effect which is uh, which is impossible so 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 i'm not saying what i'm saying is you've got two options either that is finite or infinite in, in, in if it's finite if it's finite then you have either linear or circular. Circular is impossible because then the causes will have to be, like we, we talked about, the issue of independence, independence. We already talked about that. It would be fallacious. Now we go to the infinite. You can have a world with an infinite number of dependent things. <coughs> but the question is, if the infinite number of dependent things, two questions, can it be conceived differently? And if it can be conceived differently, then in that case, it's not necessary because a necessary thing can never be conceived differently. Another thing is, is that made up of pieces? If it's made out of pieces, then if you remove or add one dependent thing or add a dependent thing into that set of dependent things, which are infinite, then you would be contradicting. This would disqualify it from being necessary because something which is necessary cannot have anything added or removed from it. Anything, anything that is susceptible to, to addition or subtraction is contingent. The universe is susceptible to addition or subtraction. Therefore, the universe is dependent. The same thing can be said of an infinite ver universe. I say the same thing of an infinite. If you have an infinite multiverse, anything that is susceptible to addition or subtraction is dependent. An infinite multiverse is uh, susceptible to ad uh, additional subtraction. Therefore, an infinite multiverse is dependent. So you have no choice but to go back to something which all dependent things must depend upon and had that not been the case there would be no dependent things. That's why my proof therefore of the fact that they cannot be dependent things is that with dependent things uh, depending upon dependent things either finitely or infinitely you can never um, you can never have an ex explication for the preponderance of anything. That's my argument. Yeah, but we're, we, we both originally agreed that there has to be a necessary thing to prevent that, that, Beautiful. that chain of dependency. That's what we need. That's so yeah, we've, we've exhausted, Good. we've exhausted, we've already, you've this explained all the reasons why there needs to be a necessary being. We already agreed uh, about that at the okay. beginning of this no, no, debate. No, no, but no, no, but no, no there's no, two things. No, no, th you the universe thing. is that necessary thing. I, yes, I, yes. Then I did ask it, yes, where, yes. why can't it be contingent? So I, I look, I fully accept. No, 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 no but uh, okay, well, one look, more thing, one more thing. Okay, you, uh, we're, 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 I agree, this, it was this, a stupid question. It does, it's it's it does have to question. be, no, there has to be a necessary yeah. being, Good. To, like a foundation to yeah. stop that regress. Would you, would you that, concede, no, after everything he just said then, just a second, uh, I, after everything he just said I, then, I, one second, I, one second, yes, relax, relax, okay, relax, right. Right. After everything he just said now, do you retract that claim that the universe could be that necessary thing? Could be that necessary thing. What? You can go Spinoza. Yeah, so, so, so the universe is the necessary being. No, no, no. And, I, and it is not subject to. I know, I know Spinoza. I, I, know, I know what he said. As he just, but he just explained to you. What, one second, one second. He just explained to you why the universe can't be the necessary thing based upon it being contingent. No, yeah. No, so, no, it so, can't be a necessary yeah. thing Spinoza because it has have any attributes. And it depends, it depends it well. on other things. No, the universe, made of exactly. No, no, it is, it is whole, the universe so depends yeah, on other things. So do you think the universe is a necessary thing? From Judaism. Well, if we define a necessary thing as as that no can't. Brilliant. Yeah. So you don't know it's gone now? Yeah, but right. uh, yes, okay. Great, 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 great. There we go, we're here, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. All right, here. so if the universe is not the necessary thing and an <laughs> infinite regret and an infinite multiverse cannot be the necessary thing, the question is now, now we have a necessary thing which is not the universe and not the infinite multiverse. Now we say that necessary thing has, we've already described that by, ne by virtue of it being necessary, there are certain ca characteristics or properties that you can say have. Look, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the logical sc scaffolding that, we, that, that our arguments exist in, and, and under your de our definitions that we've agreed upon, you are right, there has to be some necessary uh, being. To be the so, what's that, what's that? But, but, necessary being. But I, uh, yes, no, what's but that, what's that, what's that? has to be the necessary being for the explanation of the universe. Yes. But I, but I'm, I, I, I like locking things in and but I, I, we know where but we are. I, I, but as I said quite early on, I, I'm prepared to quite openly admit that I don't know, and I'm, I'm well, you actually do know speaking but, 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 the wrong 
yeah, of, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you, we, you, you do not. But yeah. I, 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 I will say under under the argument that you have laid out and I have agreed with. Brilliant. I have to think about. It. I hope this goes online so I can yeah. look oh, at it again, online. think about it. I'll come back next All week right, and we can talk That's about brilliant. it again. No but let me. Let, got progress. Yes. Think okay, about cheers. It. Have right. a great night. <laughs> yes. No, the thing is, Felix is already there. I've got my my water. Anyway, this is good. Next so time, try to come without this. Maybe the attributes that you can no, say in this SOB. Sorry? So the argument from particularity. So the conversation. Ah, uh, particularization. Particularization. Yeah. So what's that? Where, where uh, do you so, get so what, qualities? What is is that? So w w to prove, so basically there are some attributes of God we say we cannot prove logically. We admit that. So for example, we do believe that God is loving in the sense that He's al-Wadud and so on. The Quran says that, or that He's forgiving, or that He's, you know, there's attributes I think that we. You can reverse from it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need to tell him. Sorry, sorry. I'm yeah, sorry. To yeah. No, that's well, fine. Explain it to him without bringing religion into it. Yeah, yeah. No, so no, no. But what he should, uh, uh, you know, without bringing the Quran and. The yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna bring yeah. but that's what that's what I'm saying with for, we as Muslims believe in a God with X amount of attributes yeah. right all Christians believe in <laughs> something else so, so what we're saying is we're not bringing that to the table right now what we're saying is there are some attributes which can be reasoned from first principles yes. for example necessity with pre-eternality post-eternality uh, and we would say also creative capacity like where he said that the power to change the situation obviously if the universe is moving is changing or something you can make an argument clearly that there is a maintainer there is a sustainer of the universe the lord the rub or we would call it whatever term you want to use we could also make the argument quite clearly uh, of particularization or of the will of god and uh, the argument is usually made in the literature it's used made like this that the universe has in uh, the, uh, the universe and all that is in it if understood in abstraction is one way or if understood in abstraction yes is one way not another and if it's one way or another then that indicates that some something has had an effect on it that there was an external sorting agent of sorts which made it one way and not another and if there was an external if there was an external sorting agent for why the universe is one way and not another in abstraction that indicates that some dis choice has been made on it and if some choice has been made on it that's exactly what a will is so we would say that that's the evidence of the will of god so if the universe is full of contingent parts yeah. that could have been otherwise there has to have been a particular choice from the necessary thing to make it this contingent way as opposed to another beautiful but the only thing i would put to that to just clear it up is that in abstraction so in other words because someone could argue using a deterministic worldview that were well, you know we believe that nothing could have been nothing could have been otherwise because everything is determined of an antecedent causal chain of events but we're saying in abstraction in other words this bottle in abstraction okay when you when you think of this bottle uh, in and of itself there's nothing within this bottle which indicates necessity so from that perspective it's contingent in and of itself in abstraction without consideration of an antecedent causal chain and if that is submitted to and it has to be because there's no it's a defeat of all the arguments then there's an external sorting agent which made this bottle one shape one way rather than another and if that's the case of this bottle and everything within the universe then that indicates that there was an external sorting agent which sorted the universe to be one way rather than another well, can i say uh, th thank you and um Yes. You know, you've, you, uh, I, there has to be some necessary being, perhaps, um, but it will, you'll take, I, I'm with you there. I'm, I'm, you know, you've slid, you've slid the skepticism beneath my legs, and now I'm with you on there. But it would take a hell of a lot more to, to get me to believe in some particular deity. Don't worry about that right now. At this point, I could be believing on some sort of claw, claw munching, tooth covered beast. But that would be the problem with but, that. Yeah, that, that beast. That beast but that, would think, be contingent because yes. it's got claws. Well, oh, very good. But this is the thing. I think yeah, this is what I said originally. I think you know God does have attributes. Yes, yes. Well, not parts that you can power. break off and put on. But we said you said mathematics. That's why I said you, yeah. do you agree conceptual parts or physical parts because his teeth are physical. But you said yeah, so, you so, agreed that good, good. conceptual parts are also. So, no, 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 you're, you're right. You're, you're right to right, you're yeah. right to flesh this out. Just on this point quickly because I think it's important. Uh, in Mereology, which is the study of yeah. parts and holes, yeah, yeah, the study of parts and holes is called Mereology, right? Mm -hmm. There are nine definitions of what a part is. Nine. Nine from. definitions of what a part is. One of them is what you've mentioned. So if I say it's part of his personality, oh, what's your name again, bro? Strabo. Strabo is part of Strabo's personality that he has a charismatic uh, and witty uh, way about him, yeah? 
it's part of his personality. Now I'm saying something different. It's part of Muhammad Hajab's personality that he's tall, dark, and he's handsome. a great orator and rhetorician, <laughs> and he has a vast crowd yeah, it's a of followers. No, no, it's, no, no. it's part of it's part of the personality of uh, of Hamza Maya, the online sensation. <laughs> That he's cutthroat, no nonsense person that gets straight to business and leaves his his opponents dumbfounded. Anything can be said. What well, that part here is different to the part when we're talking about something which can be removed and added. So when when I'm making the argument, I'm not saying I'm using the part, the word part, or pe basically I'm using the word. Yes, I understand. So yes, cheese yes. can be removed, yes. but not his all loving. See. Excellent. Right, but that I, I still don't see. Mm. So it's, it's actually within the definition of the but, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a uh, yes, that's what you're saying. Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me let me come back tomorrow. You flung a great argument. It's been kicking around for about two thousand years. So I I will come back. It's, it's quite a hard thing to come good up with a good that. response on the spot. But thank yeah, you. Yeah. It was very can I ask good one last thing, though? Thank you. Yes. Do you think we can infer intelligence as well for this necessary being? Well, I think the very Tools that we're using to discuss. Felix. This. Felix Plus. So, 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 if you're inferring, so if, if everything in the universe is contingent, then there has to be some sort of choice abstracted that made this, made the universe this way particularly.